Yo. Oh, he talking hella trash right now. Oh! Run you drill! What's up, Wee Wee Bats? It's your man behind the cam, aka Director Nasty. We're here with another death battle reaction. Today's death battle, we got Cable from X Men in the Marvel Universe versus Booster Gold from DC, part of the Justice League. Um, I think this death battle is going to be one of the better death battles we'll ever see, only because of the unpredictableness of this death battle. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm going to use it. Both of them can manipulate time, so we don't really know what they're going to do to get the one up on each other. Cable's from the X-Men series. We've seen him in Deadpool 2. Um, he's, he's basically Deadpool, but not funny and slightly more dangerous, I would almost argue. And then we have Booster Gold, who can emulate time. He's from the DC Universe. He actually saved the Justice League once. That's the only thing I know him from. Uh, this the battle, I'm excited for it. If you made this far and you haven't already, go ahead, smash that sub button, leave a like on the video. Personally, I got Booster Gold only because I don't know how durable Cable Body is going to be. If you want to watch us live, we're live on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Mankind has always looked to the past with regret for mistakes and to the future. Uh, I wouldn't say that much regret. They're not very. The past mm. and future could be visited at the same time. I'd say buckle up, but where we're going, we don't need seatbelts. Oh Jesus! Wait, is that the right quote? Cable, the time traveling warrior. Let's go. Yo, Cable looks like a total badass. Who's the gold? Looks so soft, but I think he, I think he might be. I think he got the juice. I think he got the sauce. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you just look at them, you're like just judging a book by its cover. Like, I'd pick Cable over Booster Gold, too. But I think Booster Gold is more durable, and he might have slightly stronger powers. Because Cable can't jump the way Booster can. At least I don't know. Freaking Apocalypse. Yo, back in the 90s, they were just wearing whatever, bro. Look at his lipstick. Oh, goth punk looking self. <laughs> By the time Sinister was ready, that's kind of dead. No that's right. Oh, got the new her in bed with Cyclops and bam, out pops Nathan Summers. Yo, ultimate baby. Of course, we're talking about comic books here, so Gene eventually came back to life. What the hell? Clone, Scott and Gene decided to raise baby Nate together. Oh, how nice. They love happy endings. Until Nate was kidnapped by, ironically, Apocalypse. Wait, what the hell? Wait! Oh my god, I did not know that! Cable is Scott Summer's kid, bro? Yo, he's 6'8", 350, oh my god! Damn it, thick! Oh. Apocalypse. Yo. I did, yo, Cable's Cable's origin is so twisted. Took over Nathan's body. It enhanced his strength, speed, and endurance. Most notably, he gained a powerful metal arm and a cyber. Yo, okay, okay, okay. I know I said I had Booster Gold early, but remember I said early. Cable's making a tough case right now. He's part cyborg, part human. Like he. He's making a good ass case right now. Oof. I'm out of smoke too soon. Raised and trained by Pepper's parents, whose minds are transferred to the bodies in the future. Oh. So he still had his family. He controls dinosaurs, lasers. Damn. Cable, bro. Look at this man's brolic. He's huge. Part cybernetic, part huge. Yeah, what does that mean? Ultra maximum level. Oh, he has telekinetics too. You know, I'd be forgetting about that. Damn. 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 Are so strong that he once stopped 240 Damn, I for, you know, I really, I was too focused on the time travel part. I forget he could do all this other stuff too, man. Yo, I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. We, I'm gonna stick with Booster Gold. If I take this L, I take this L. But damn, Cable, 
Yo, Cable is serious. He's capable of ionizing the entire planet's atmosphere all by himself, and his psionic powers extend even further. He can Jeez. physically displace his body through both time and space. Okay, no, no, that's the part we knew. Time travel. It was those timey wimey powers Jesus. that made Cable visit the 20th century. Bro, how is Cable not the strongest mutant ever? Like seriously, let's let's talk about this. How? how? Like a clone named Strife, a timeline where he was a she named Rachel, and another Nathan Gray who was called X Man. X Man? Wow, really breaking the bank on the name of that guy, huh? Pretty gutsy to name himself after the entire franchise. I mean, Man, not gutsy. That's that he's like, yo, I'll carry y'all. Oh my god. Holy shit, be careful of what you say. He said his dad, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, man. Uh, X -Man's potential I'm not gonna lie, he does kind of look like Jesus. Power Cable could have if not for the techno-organic virus. So Cable said, screw this bullshit, and straight up pulled the virus out of himself. What did he even grab on to? Wait, wait, what? To do so, which is impossible. Across the 70 trillion cells in the human body, there are over 200,000 pairs of Okay, DNA. so he just rearranged his DNA and just ripped off the virus? Could comprehend and manipulate each and every one. Oh my yeah, gosh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. I... No, oh, I think I think at the beginning of this when they announced who was fighting, I focused too much on the time travel aspect. Cause I totally forgot Cable is a bona fide badass with multiple problems on multiple levels. But let's hear Booster Gold. Come on, Booster, don't let me down, bro. Oh, he looks like such a douche. He's 100% full of shit. Michael John oh. Carter was your average. Michael John Carter. What an average name, bro. His future in the future was bright. Until his CEO of Gold Star. Best Buds of Blue Beetle. Forced into a corner, Michael was caught betting on his own games in order to uh. pay Should have moved to Future Canada. Well, his mother did Future so Canada. Oh, my God. After his time, he just managed to land a job as a security guard at the Metropolis Space Museum and okay. upon the exhibit on 20th century superheroes. Oh what no. Him to become a superhero too. It kind of actually he stole all the hero tech he could and turns out it was the real deal. Wow. Goddamn time machine. Oh yeah, great idea. Wait. This man just is like a hero. He just stole a time machine. Alongside his own C3PO is this really his origin story? I've never heard his origin his story. Knowledge of future events to profit off the stock market and form his own company, Gold Star Incorporated. That's actually kind of gangster though. That's actually kind of gangster though. That's. Michael J. Fox played. Oh, he was the bad guy. This PR firm and merchandising house would eventually introduce him as a self-made superhero celebrity. Gold wow. Except Ronald Reagan misheard the name as Booster Gold, and it stuck. Well, oh. now he sounds like a trading card pack. Don't get the wrong idea. Mike he misheard his name? Superhero for altruistic means. Even Superman, the most positive man alive. What a terrible way. Booster Gold to be a huge dick. Who could blame wow, Booster even Superman thinks you're a dick? Not gonna lie, I don't like Superman, as y'all know, so like. Luckily, he wasn't all talk. His stolen technology was incredibly advanced. Like his power suit, which despite making him look like a huge tool, he's a total tool. And toughness to superhuman level. Oh, his jeez. main offensive gear includes energy gauntlets. Both of which All right. energy gauntlets, force field belt, superhuman gauntlets, durability, booster shots. This guy is he's so corny. Energy gauntlets, booster shots, time stopping, visor skeets. Oh, heat vision, infrared, he can run out of fuel. All right, okay. Allows him to, you know. But at the end of the day, Booster's still an ordinary guy. He's like if Iron Man were a dumb loser. He'd get his oh. ass kicked on a daily basis if he didn't have his nifty force field built. Potentially his most important tool of all. Booster's force field is an impenetrable wall of continual energy so dense that not even bacteria can pass through. Oh, it damn. Can off physical and energy attacks as well as weirder stuff.
stuff like mind hmm. control from the likes of Maxwell Interesting. Lord, Newman, a telepath powerful enough to brainwash the entire planet. So Booster can even remove his force field and wrap it around something else. Oh, so not even this ain't going to be really a battle of time. The time part is like a throw us off. This is going to come down to the other stuff. Is his mass dispersion field. Instead of blocking attacks, this field absorbs matter and spits it back out. Obviously, if oh. the be... Me oh, no, Booster Gold got this. Yeah, those two things alone. The impenetrable seal, the <laughs> force field, and the rebounding shield? Yeah, no. What? What? Wait, what? The most wholesome romance ever. To be fair, Booster wasn't just an empty charlatan. Sure, he used his future technology to Interesting. Damn. Powers, but he's a showboat, and he could run out of power, but he's impenetrable, and he could rebound everything that you send to him. But he could also call into his own clones. Clones? Time travels? If anything, the journey to humility. After years of hero work, he was offered membership with the Justice League of America, and yet he turned it down, knowing that wow. such a thing could do to history. Instead, Booster chose to travel the time stream, repairing its cracks and saving the multiverse. His mom was Yo, he said no to the Justice League. He saved them. Could not publicize. This is tough. I know what I said, but I'm sticking with Booster Gold. I'm going to stick with him to the end. Just write it out, see what happens. But if Cable wins, I won't be surprised, because Cable got a lot of good stuff going for him. It's going to come down to, is Booster Gold going to run out of power or nah? So he just pulled up on him in the middle of the street, called him an idiot. Oh, he's picking a fight? Booster. Oh, bro, you're so corny. Come on, I'm rooting for you, but stop being corny, my guy. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. You already whipped it out, bro. That's like your best move. Oh sh. Show Cable's not playing with you, bro. Oh my God. Oh, that combo was nasty, though. Oh, that's kind of cheap. Let's see. How far can you fly? Oh. Do it like a game. Oh. Yo, he was ready for that, man. He sure got time stop uppercut in his gut. Did he? What did he? What did he? Oh, he hit him in the gut and sent him through time. Zero cards at him, bro. Yo, I told you this fight's gonna be gangster. Wait. What the hell? Oh my god, no way. He actually rode in on a dinosaur on him. Nah, I don't say that's still not gonna work. It's cool. Uh-oh, what's he about to do? All right, let's see. Attack of the clones! Damn, he really brought him in. I don't think he's going to run out of power then. Oh, that's smart. Sheep! Yo, this is fire. Yo. Yo, he got his own shadow clone jutsu, bro. Oh, a voice in my head. <laughs> Remove for speed. No. Wait. I thought he couldn't get into his head. Wait a minute. I thought he said he couldn't get into his head. Okay. 
Okay, I was about to say. I was like, what the hell? I'm like, that, that's definitely not what y'all said. Squish him into the either. Oh my god, did he just squish him into nothingness? I know it seems ridiculous, but seriously, how did that go? Oh my god. Okay. So Booster Gold won. Not the way I thought he was gonna win, but yo. Supposedly Cable can extinguish stars, but he's never shown such power. Yeah, that force field, man. That force field. Not even that force field alone. Yeah, as soon as I heard about this force field thing, I was like, yo, there's no way. For example, Cable's telekinesis could move a planet and rearrange cells, right? Damn, that's wild. Oh, you see? You see how they sneak that in at the subatomic level? I never would have looked at that. Jesus. Zeros, Jesus, that's a lot of zeros. Yeah. No, I get that, but like, I thought he would have ran out of energy. Oh. Oh, yeah, he... See, that's the other thing. The mind control thing. Once he, did, I knew he couldn't get mind control. I was like, there's no way he's gonna get this dub. It just doesn't make sense. Like, you can't take over his mind. You can't use the telekinesis. You can't like talk him into like literally talk him into beating himself. So it just made sense at the end of it. I guess. I mean, I've heard of Booster Gold, but like, is Booster Gold really not that well known? Holy, it's totally cool when he went to the future, and it was super cool when he got, he tried to eat it with the damn T-Rex, man. It was, it was dope, dope ass death battle. Listen, what do you guys think? As soon as I heard, I was doubting. I picked Booster Gold early, and then Cable sounded dope. And then as soon as I heard about Booster Gold Shield, I was like, nah, there's no way. There's just no way. That shield, literally, he survived Doomsday. I don't even think, yeah. If you made this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part of this death battle? For me personally, 100%, 100% is when Booster Gold went Shadow Clone Jutsu, brought in all his time skips and just jumped on this man Cable. Dope battle. All right, let's see who we got on next time. Look at that. Wait. No. No. Obi Wan versus Kakashi? Oh, shit. Yo, I'll catch y'all next one. Be easy. Huh? Bond to do the army? Probably not. Until something serious happens. Fuck yeah, director. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. I am fucking goaded! Ah, ha, ha.